Okay, here we are at the 74th Cannes Film Festival, and I am joined with the amazing actress director of Lodge Door, Jenna Suru. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Cindy. How are you today? I'm doing great. You know, Jenna does so many things. She's also the festival director of Paris International Film Festival that's actually accepting submissions now. And she's also very involved in Cannes series. So I want to find out exactly what she's up to. So Jenna, welcome. It's so wonderful to have you here and speak with us at Diggin Magazine at Cannes. If you could tell me, um, you know, what's going on with Paris International Film Festival? What are the updates? We're really excited for our filmmakers because we had such an, an exciting and interactive virtual edition thanks to our brilliant partner, Filmocracy, and our amazing press partners like Diggin Magazine for the US. And thank you so much for everything you've done for our filmmakers this year. And this here is a wonderful opportunity to actually network and meet safely with some of our filmmakers who are able to attend. So it's extremely exciting. We have a wonderful lineup of interviews for them with you, but also networking events and we have our early bird deadline, uh, symbolically the day after Bastille Day, and on that day we also have a party co-organized by our UK press partner, Integrity Magazine. Wonderful, and you know, the previous Paris International Film Festival that was featured virtually through Filmocracy was actually such a success. I was involved in it and I attended a lot of the networking events that were on online and I was actually, you know, even during this time I was able to meet so many other filmmakers and industry professionals. So congratulations on a successful um, virtual festival. Thanks so much, Cindy, for all you've been doing. And really, a festival is only as good as its filmmakers. So we really are really, really thankful for the world premiere of Invisible Love, which actually picked up three awards, including the Best Feature Film Award, which is really massive for an American, Chinese, Thai co-productions. That's really exciting. And also, we are so excited for our Grand Jury Prize, which also picked up five awards. She is attending the festival, the director and co-writer, Nora Lakosh, also written by Fujina Fekete, um, Hub in English, Cream, which you reviewed because it's yes. such an amazing film. It was such an amazing film. Nora is just such a talented filmmaker and director. And, um, you know, you can read our interview on digandmag.com. It's there right now. And it's been wonderful to collaborate with Nora and as well as Jenna. Paris International Film Festival, you know, the next um, edition is coming up. Can you give us um, a sneak peek of what may, we may see there? I'm really happy today to announce on Dig In Magazine that for our upcoming edition at the Paris International Film Festival, we will have a focus, obviously, again on change, but also on the French regions. So um, if you are a filmmaker from France and you have a film maybe which is more focused on the region of France, this definitely could kind of fit. So really excited. We think that with uh, also the pandemic, we really can see the power of cinema and how during the festival, even if it's been held virtually, it can really put communities together to bring change. So we're really excited to also show the beauty of France and of around the world. And another thing that's been very exciting, you know, we're here in the south of France, and Jenna has um, a few of her filmmakers, um, you know, here at the festival. And she recently presented um, their Paris International Film Festival awards to them. Can you tell us about those filmmakers and what the awards were for? Absolutely. We're so excited to receive here at the Cannes um, Film Festival at the EU Media Pavilion uh, the filmmakers behind The Babe Kitty, which is a wonderful feature film, which is actually also selected at Cannes Film Festival. So we are also heading to their first screening, which is being held tonight, which is absolutely incredible. They picked up the best experimental feature film for The Big Kitty. We are, so we mentioned Cream, and you announced in your amazing press release that it's been picked up by HBO, which is oh, just exactly. what an achievement. And also there are actually quite a few filmmakers attending. We also have one of our scriptwriters, Miran Hoke. Um, there is also the Shakespeare sisters who are behind our soundtrack to 16, which picked up the best comedy award. So that's pretty exciting. And there are actually a few more, um, which we, we will announce very soon. Um, but there are quite a few which are attending safely from around the world, which is really exciting. 
I know you're involved in another film festival, and that is Cannes Series, and that's also based here in Cannes. Can you tell me a little bit about Cannes Series, as well as your involvement with the festival? Thank you so much for mentioning Cannes Series. Um, I'm, I'm one of the first organizers of a festival, which is basically the equivalent of a Cannes Film Festival for TV. Um, so since its launch in 2018, really exciting um, from its first edition that now we've been premiering amazing TV series like Killing Eve, also called My Agent, season three. That was quite exciting. And the next edition is coming up during MIPCOM because of the pandemic. So it's from the 8th to the 13th of October. So we hope to see you there. Well, thank you so much, Shanna. It was wonderful to speak with you today. We are so excited for everything that's in store and coming up. So congratulations on everything and best of luck. Thanks so much to you, Cindy. Really appreciate the honor. Thank you.